you do want a geotextile non-woven fabric. You don't want to build a system without it. Matter of fact, you, all the work that goes into building a system, and to miss that one step, now you just gave your system an expiration date, and it's really unfortunate. So we, we do a lot of commercial work as well, and whatever the engineers spec in is what we, we use. When we design our own systems, we have our couple go-tos that we really love. Now, the first one, this is, this is our fastest. It's a four ounce. Love it for our open French drains. When we have a lot of surface water and we want to just turn our French drain into one long channel drain, this is what we use. Well, I have the hose turned up all the way. You can see it takes... trying to show you how fast it'll take the water in. I have a pretty good stream. I have great water pressure, so. All right, so let's, let's just fill this bucket real quick and, and then we'll move on to the eight ounce fabric. So this fabric I love for surface water. And it's going to protect the drainage systems that I build for my clients. It's going to prevent the gravel from migrating into the subsoil and the subsoil from migrating into the gravel. That's where they plug. The pipe don't plug. That's where they plug. That's why you want to use this. So that was the four ounce. Okay, so here's 8 ounce. Let's show you the difference. So when I move the hose away, you can see it takes that that hesitation that just it filtrates all the water. Well, this is going to last and last and last. This will last decades. That's what's amazing about this. But I wouldn't recommend this for open French drains. Open French drains, you're moving sheet water. Sheet water is when you have it just coming off a carport or coming off of a concrete parking lot or concrete driveway. Sheet water is some serious stuff. You can't screw around with it. So we use the one that the bucket's already. So you can see here we are. We got a five gallon pill, and that's with me taking the hose off of it numerous times just to show you. So now you you see the two fabrics that, that I love, the four ounce and the eight ounce. You've seen their performance. They both perform well. Here's one of our systems 10 years later. The homeowner was so happy with how dry their backyard is, they now have us putting a drain in the front yard. What you see that's roots from grass plants. You got different sizes depending on what, if it's bluegrass, it's a vertical tap root. Certain grasses have rhizomes where the roots, they come through the fabric and then they, they grow along with the fabric. No matter what, as long as the root comes through the fabric, that's how water finds its way into our French drain system. So here's a system 10 years old. Here's one of our fabric pins that initially held the fabric in place. And the roots really are not developed right now like they will be in another month. It's early spring, the grass is waking up. It's pretty, pretty dormant really. And we don't even have a lot of color. I mean, you can see how the grass is not lush, you know, it's just early spring. But the reason why our fabric 
drains so well and it works better and better over time as the development of roots grow through our double punched fabric with two different size holes so that you can get those little roots in there that are a thread and they can expand and keep that hole, that punched hole in the fabric that we use so that water is free to flow down it. Now, this isn't magic, this isn't like a mystery, but for some reason, there's just a lot of people out there that just don't want to believe in it. They don't want to believe in it, they'll throw mud on it and say, look, water don't go through it. Well, we don't ever show a video of us throwing mud on our fabric. It's not a big deal if there's some dirt on our fabric. We grow grass on our fabric or we put more stone on top. The same stone that's underneath the fabric we'll put on top and it's called an open French drain. I have many videos showing that technique. Both work great. If you grow turf grass on your French drain and you have a double punched fabric like ours, and look, this is 10 years old. Look how... Look at the shape of this fabric. This is four ounce. I want to also mention that. This is four ounce fabric. Look at that. Nice, huh? Really good shape after 10 years. I mean, I really had to saw through that with a sharp blade knife so that I can peel this back and unearth this fabric, this 10-year-old fabric. You can see how clean it kept the French drain. You have the voids that move water open so there's no dirt no dirt migrated into this french drain system it's probably cleaner than the day we put it in because the dirt washes through the inlets on high octane and when this was installed we used eight slot yellow so same thing the dirt washes through the inlets and the pipe carries it out so you can see this this stone is cleaner than than it's ever been. Honestly, since it's seen daylight, it hasn't been this clean, okay? So we unearthed it, we exposed it, there's no dirt in it. The water travels through these open voids. Gravity carries the water down these tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of roots. And in the fall, when it goes dormant and slows down, it's not as aggressive, the roots recede. The hole becomes enlarged for fall showers and spring showers. It takes a while for... Right now, this is dormant. These are very fine. You know, we have spring rain, and the holes are wide open. This is performing very well. So our drainage systems, by design, work better once all the grass roots have grown through the double punch fabric. Don't let anybody tell you different. They just don't know any better. Now, there's many different types of fabrics out there, so beware. I've been told by subscribers, Menards it doesn't drain worth a crap. You know, they're not punching the fabric. Non-woven geotextile fabric, that is such a broad category. We're talking tens of thousands of fabrics out there. And it's really rare to get one that's punched, let alone double punched. And I know this because I know how hard it was to get a manufacturer to do it. I literally had to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars and just make large purchases, large purchases of fabric. So luckily, because we put so much in the ground, we were able to get it double punched. So anyways, there's a sod pen. Look at it, it's pretty... You know, another 10 years, it's going to be gone. But it did its job. And so is the, the turf roots. Yep. Just like all our work, you can't even tell. So I'll come back and I'll mend that with a new piece of fabric. I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, until the next video.